Before we can kick off this Lake Como vlog, let's take it back to Milan. We spent a few days frolicking around the streets, indulging in the cuisine and all of that jazz, before getting on a long distance train all the way to the centre of Como. Okay, so that was a bit of a f around. I didn't film any of what just happened because let's be honest, it's difficult to navigate challenges while you're trying to handle it like a boss ass bitch. Just kidding, without freaking the f out. But, so yeah, we just stopped for a quick bite to eat. Basically, we arrived in Como San Giovanni, which is like the big train station. We thought, we've got two options. One, we can get a bus straight away in 10 minutes, or we can go see Como a little bit, and then eat something, and then go on a bus in an hour. So, we opted for the second option, which brought us to where we are now. Basically, we went for a wine, had some really nice soup, and blah, 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 blah. Power walked to the bus stop. Met some other Spanish-speaking people, thank God, for them because we realized well the bus doesn't actually come here so we had to power walk all the way and then we arrived and we found out that the bus doesn't come for another hour and a half so no problems where there's a will there's a way so you bet your ass we're not giving up but basically we just have to sit down have another wine which i'm not complaining about i'm gonna get some laptop work done now because i'm extremely behind and kara's gonna hang out do whatever she wants to do and we'll get back on that bus that's about it if you're coming to Como obviously I'd recommend a motorbike or a car but if you're gonna public transport life it, public transport life it like us maybe keep these things into consideration be attentive when you go to your bus stops just don't foolishly wait around without reading things and yeah <laughs> I think I pressed recording, but I'm not sure if I actually pressed recording. But hopefully I press recording. Okay guys, I can't start like that every time. Ugh. We finally arrived here in Lake Como and we're at an amazing property that's just opened this year, Brisa de Ness, and it is right in the heart of Nesso. I'm not kidding you, I could take a deep dive in the lake from here if I wanted to. I would severely injure myself. The lake is glimmering, the mountain is calling my name. I didn't bring any hiking gear, so that's my own fault. It's such a unique atmosphere here. Yeah, I really prefer this over the busyness and hectic energy of Milan. Even though I love city life, there's nothing like escaping to a quieter place, especially when it's up in the mountain by the water. You know you've stumbled upon something special when you're sharing the bus ride here with all locals and just hearing Italian everywhere and not being surrounded with English. That's the shit I love. That's the type of travel that I love to promote as well. There's something special about sustainable tourism and Feeling things from an authentic perspective instead of just going with the masses, ticking off bucket list items. I love this. I'm super grateful to be here right now. Big shout out to the team here at Brisa de Ness for making this possible. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys around tomorrow morning. We're going to do an entire separate video on this hotel. I'll leave the link in the description below. For now, we're going to continue with the Como vlog. Holy f one of those giant bee things just came up right next to me. Oh my god. Guys, the bees here are, are on steroids, literally. What was I saying? Yes, plan for tomorrow. I've convinced my cousin to do a day trip and I'm not feeling guilty about it at all. Sorry, Kyra. She's in there on the bed lying down like a cocoon. Poor thing. I'm just kidding. She's living. We're looking up day tours for boat trips and things like that. It was going to cost so much money. Like, uh, we're talking more than like 500 euros, something crazy like that, right? Yeah, like crazy amounts of money. So we thought, let's just wing it. Let's get a ferry. We're going to go from here in Nesso to Bellagio and then from Bellagio to... Vanessa? Vernassa. Verena? Verana? Varena? Varena. There we go. Bellagio to Varena. Then we're gonna spend the day there. Anyways, this is it. This is life. Live your life, people! Oh my god, what the actual f is that in the air, bro? 
there's a UFO. <laughs> that object is and it's moving so weirdly. No, but seriously, if anyone wants to tell me in the comments what they think that was, you are more than welcome. Anyways, let's get back on track. So, after we had that near UFO sighting, we headed down to the restaurant. Then, the shenanigans began. Okay guys, so this is kind of cooked. Basically, there's no restaurants open tonight. It's a Tuesday night and we have no food, no kitchen. So we have no choice, basically, but to trek it for 25 minutes. And that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, I need my flashlight, so I'm going to tap out here. This is a situation. <laughs> My cousin's mad at me because I just directed us in the wrong direction. Directed us in the right direction. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. Holy shit. The only restaurant that's open is actually fucking closed. So now we're gonna walk back downhill, which thankfully should only take like 10 minutes. And then just eat olives for dinner. Nice. This is where we've ended up right now. Okay guys, that was pretty f up. All good now. Basically, we power walked all the way down the hill and made it to a little bar. We smashed it, walked in there. Good thing, again, Spanish serves you in another f country. Made friends with a group of old Italian men, which was f awesome. Not creepy, super wholesome, and yeah, good time. We ended up eating olives and these weird, stale, like, onion ring shaped, mm, cheese chips for dinner and a beer and wine. And you know what? I can't complain. I'm gonna check a photo of that right here, just in case you're interested in seeing it. That is the f end of this night tomorrow we're getting up bright and early so i will see you then buena serra morning guys so basically last night escalated a little bit out of our control we ended up doing the hike as I mentioned last night and yeah that really took it out of us but that cute little local experience at the bar right around the corner just really put the cherry on top we just went to breakfast and that honestly exceeded my expectations I'm feeling like this is a really good hotel for anyone that's on a budget and wants to come to one of the most iconic places in Italy this is so well located you can easily get here without a car so if you're someone that doesn't drive like me and you have to rely on public transport Transport, then you can easily get here with train and bus, which is always a plus. Not all stays around the world in the top destinations are actually accessible with transport. You've got incredible views of the lake, you're right in the heart of Nesso, just around the corner from the famous waterfall and the beautiful ivy leaf covered buildings and the bridge. And especially if you're looking to get off the beaten track and take a step away from the tourist trail, definitely a recommendable stay. <laughs> I should have started the video like this. Buongiorno ragazzi. Let me try that again. Buongiorno ragazzi. <laughs> I am Italian on the inside. So after that little chat, I had one last shot of espresso before heading down to the pier. You're so cute. Whoa, you're kind of scary. You have beautiful eyes. He's just standing here looking at me. Yeah, I'm kind of scared though. Hello, you beautiful thing. Holy sh**. So after having a riveting conversation with that white duck, our ferry arrived and we finally got on our way.
Okay guys, so I'm going to be completely transparent with you. The pasta at this place was not amazing. Honestly, I've had way better pasta in and outside of Italy. So I definitely recommend this place for the views and a drink rather than an actual meal. After feasting on some Italian cuisine, we decided to head to one of the most famous spots here in Verena. We just arrived at Villa Monastero here in Varena. If you're coming to Lake Como, this is a must see. You can expect lush gardens, beautiful colorful flowers, old architecture, sculptures, stunning mountaintops in the background, the glimmering lake and a whole lot more. After finishing up our sightseeing, we headed back into the town, ate one last gelato, and then got on the ferry back to Nesso. We have finally just arrived back here at the hotel. It's been a long ass day. Basically, got to the port on time 10 minutes early because always prepare for disaster. Found out it was delayed by half an hour. No problems. Waited around, made friends with a duck that I also may have confused as my deceased grandmother. Okay, anyways, finally made it to Verena. Explored, had an amazing fucking lunch. It wasn't amazing. It was the view that was amazing. So I was so disappointed by the pasta. Go there for great views. Don't get the pasta that I ordered because it was shite. And then we got on the ferry, had a few too many wines and cranked it up a notch. Had an intense game of I spy and now we've ended up back here at the hotel. We're gonna go and overdose on pizza. Uh, just got back from dinner and I'm in a massive f***ing food coma. My stomach feels like I'm going to explode. Had so much good food but ate an entire pizza and tiramisu. As you can see, I am full couch potato mode. Couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. Good morning, guys. <laughs> okay. So, after that little stunt there, we headed down for breakfast, packed up our things, and got ready to say goodbye to Lake Como. Guys, this is the reality of travel again. Another f round. The bus isn't going to the train station, and we are going to miss the train and then have to wait another hour. <laughs> So I'm currently hanging out in the bathrooms. Well, 
pisses down in rain outside. After a couple of minutes moping around in the bathroom, we realized that we had just a little bit of time to spare. So we started to sprint for the station in hopes that we would make it. So, as you can see, luck was on our side that afternoon. We ended up making the train and getting to Milan just a short hour later. We spent the afternoon frolicking around and honestly, I had the best pasta of my life at a place called Pasta d'Autore. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, guys. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the Lake Como vlog here. Thanks for watching.